Hello everybody and welcome to Casper Van Life. Um, if this is your first time visiting the channel, my name is Mick. This is my 2007 VW T5 camper van uh, called Casper. Now I just want to start this video with a little disclaimer. Um, I just want to point out that by no means whatsoever am I mechanically minded when it comes to cars. Um, if I'm honest, I just don't like working in or around engines. I just avoid it at all costs. So I just want to start with that before we get into the video. So recently I spotted some uh, oil marks on my driveway and I thought, ah, that's not good. Uh, firstly, you don't want uh, oil drips on your nice block paved driveway. And secondly, uh, you just don't want oil drips on your van, do you? Um, so I then put a piece of cardboard underneath to catch the oil drips until I could get the actual problem sorted. So I went underneath the van and I had a bit of a look uh, and I noticed there was some oil dripping from the oil filter. So I then thought, right, okay, is it the oil filter? Is it damaged? Is it cracked? Is the oil, oil filter clogged and it's just seeping out? I don't know. Like I say, I'm not mechanically minded. I didn't know what it was. Um, but from further inspection, I looked in the other parts of the engine and I noticed around the um, oil filler cap that there was a lot of sort of oil seepage, can you call it that? Uh, in and around the oil filler cap and it looked like it was all running down uh, the engine and it potentially could, event over time, it could, I mean, it could have been like this for a long while before I even bought the van. Um, it's seeped through the engine and it's just dripped onto the oil filter and then that's where it's dripping. You can see there around the oil filler cap It looks like this. I don't know if you can see on camera. You can see oil building up there and it's all wet down there. So I'm thinking it could be leaking from there. If we take the cap off, it says floor line. See the oil there building up, just sitting in the bottom, which to me suggests that the oil is getting past the seal on the filler cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a new filler cap. You might be able to just buy the seal, but I'll just buy a new cap. I don't think they're that expensive. Uh, I'll clean all that. I'll clean all the oil that's down here, get some gunk and get that cleaned up, fit the new filler cap and then uh, take it from there and just monitor it and see how we get on. So, simple. There we go, went back on a lot easier than it came off. Right, let's go and get a filler cap. Now when I first got the new oil filler cap, I just put it side by side with the old one and I'll be honest, it didn't look much different. I was expecting the seal to be a lot thicker, but it's almost identical. But on further inspection, if you look really closely, then the, the seal, the main seal, um, depth wise, no difference, but the actual uh, circumference, perimeter edge it just seems it's slightly wider than the new filler cap so i'm wondering if that is where the oil is seeping out 
it's obviously been this wide when it was new and over time with constantly in out in out it's worn the edge of the seal and the seal has sort of reduced in size <laughs> i'm not as you can see i'm not very uh, mechanically minded but yeah so that it's very subtle but i think it's definitely worn down and that's where the oil's been seeping out So the old filler cap has been fitted for uh, several days now. I've been running the running the van daily, and uh, as you can see from the photo, uh, there's no oil seeping out of the sort of perimeter of the oil filler cap anymore. It's nice and dry, and there's no drips on the uh, oil filter down below. So it's looking like, thumbs up, fingers crossed, all that, that uh, that that sorted the problem out. And it only cost me £12.50, I think it was, for a new oil filler cap. So that was a real nice, cheap and easy fix. Um, so if you've got an oil drip or an oil leak, check this first. Um, and if it sorts it out, happy days. If not, then unfortunately you're going to have to look deeper and uh, see if you can find out what the problem is. But definitely worth checking this first. So I hope you enjoyed that one and you found that of use. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, if you're new to the channel, uh, please do click that subscribe button down below and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video. Okay, well thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.